Hi, this is Brandon from Aramax. Today we're here to show you how to perform maintenance on a K20 aeration compressor. Maintenance should be performed every 6 to 12 months for optimum performance. The tools you will need to complete the maintenance are a number 2 Phillips screwdriver, small pick tool, and a 5.5mm nut driver. Included with your maintenance kit are two inner diaphragm assemblies, two outer diaphragm assemblies, two diaphragm backboards, and four protective washers. To start, flip your compressor over. Use your number two Phillips screwdriver to remove the four screws securing the outer casing. Now, separate the upper and lower casing to expose the two diaphragm assemblies. Starting with one of the diaphragms, Remove the rubber boot from the outer diaphragm assembly. Then remove the four screws securing the outer diaphragm assembly. Use a small pick tool to separate the outer diaphragm from the inner diaphragm. Next, remove the center retaining nut and washer using your 5.5 millimeter nut driver. Now remove the diaphragm backboard, protective washer, inner diaphragm assembly, and inner protective washer. Now you're ready to install your new diaphragm. Start by installing a new protective washer. Next, install the inner diaphragm assembly flat side out by matching up the notch on the assembly with the notch on the compressor motor. Now, install another protective washer and the diaphragm backboard with the curve facing the inner diaphragm. Then secure the center retaining nut and washer with a 5.5 mm nut driver. Next, reinstall the outer diaphragm assembly by matching up the notch on the assembly with the notch on the compressor motor and secure the four assembly screws. Now, reconnect the rubber boot to the outer diaphragm assembly. Repeat these steps for the other diaphragm assembly. Remove the rubber boot, then remove the four screws securing the outer diaphragm assembly. Use a small pick tool to separate the outer diaphragm from the inner diaphragm. Remove the center retaining nut and washer. Now remove the diaphragm backboard, protective washer, inner diaphragm assembly, and inner protective washer. Install a new protective washer. Next, install the inner diaphragm assembly flat side out by matching up the notch on the assembly with the notch on the compressor motor. Now, install another protective washer and the diaphragm backboard with the curve facing the inner diaphragm. Secure the center retaining nut and washer Next, reinstall the outer diaphragm assembly by matching up the notch on the assembly with the notch on the compressor motor and secure the four assembly screws. Finally, reconnect the rubber boot. Once both diaphragm assemblies have been replaced, carefully reattach and secure the upper and lower casing using the four case screws. Now that you've finished the maintenance on your K20 compressor, this is a great time to replace your air filter. 
To replace the air filter, remove the screw securing the air filter cap on the back of the compressor and remove the cap. Take note of the rubber membrane. Remove and replace the air filter, then re-secure the air filter cap. For more information, contact your local dealer or visit us online at airmaxeco.com.